Right, well, one thing that I promised you was to show you this hooking up system here. So how this works is you take your poles, you need two poles, and you don't need any pole connectors. You take your two poles and you put one loop there over the pole tip there and then you put the other loop over the other pole tip there so effectively you have your poles connected like that then you have three velcro strips and you wrap the velcro strip around your pole basically so that's one velcro strip there and then undo the other velcro strip here and the velcro strips they move up and down here and then just wrap that velcro strip around there this velcro strip here i think might be better off just moved a little bit further down the pole there and then there's one in the middle so you get three just undo that one obviously just be careful with your pole tips that you don't whack them you know into your shelter or anything you know daft like that that one wraps around there and that you now have quite a strong pole system there now obviously once you've done that you've you've made your you made your pole as it were obviously then you have to you know adjust the length of the poles a little bit a little bit you can adjust the length of your lines as well so you could actually do this without touching the pole so you could if you wanted to just bring your poles closer together and use the line lock attached there to make them you know the length that you want let's go and have a look and see at the moment i would say that it's probably you know a little bit too short loosen one off here just take that one off there and then what you could do is then rather than undoing everything just lengthen this lengthen this pole here to what you think is correct then you could check it so that's a little bit higher than the shelter itself is currently set at i'd always go a teeny weeny bit too long than too short with your poles and then just make sure you do your pole up very tight and then just put your put your line over the tip of your pole and then tighten it off with that line lock and then get your velcro i mean you know it's a little bit fiddly but you know if you don't it's not that fiddly but a little bit but if you don't want to be using you know pole connectors and you can actually adjust this without touching the string once you've gone past the once you've gone past your the pole tip you can actually adjust this as you see fit you probably would be better off with this system with two regular poles rather than uh, pacer poles because of the shape of the pacer you know the handles 
The pace of pole handles works fine on the trail star. That's very well tried and tested because you've just got one, one odd shaped handle as it were. Probably connecting two poles like this, I would probably use a regular pole rather than two pacer poles. But you know, I'm just showing you as an example. And once you've fiddled with it and you have, I put a bung on the top and a bung on the bottom, mainly just as a, I'm not really into health and safety, but I don't fancy, you know, getting into the tent and sticking my eyeball, you know, on the, on the pole tip. So I might just leave it like that and then just see, see how that goes. And I've got my other pole, you know, if I need to. And of course your other option is of course, is a pole connector. And this is something that I've been using for a very, very long time in my videos with the Super Mid and the Duo Mid up until I started using that pole there for the Super Mid. I can't use that pole for the Dewa Mid. It's uh, cut to size and it's too long for the Dewa Mid. But you know, it shows how much bigger the Dewa Mid XL is compared to the Dewa Mid because that pole, as I say, fits in here perfectly. But the other option that you have is to use a connecting pole like this. Now for this piece to work, I take off the bottom, I take off the handle of my pacer pole, top and bottom, and this effectively is the, is the handle of the pacer pole. This is, you know, a piece of pacer pole handle that I was able to <laughs> grab off the, um, they sent me, uh, but it was just like a, I think it was an off, an off cut. Um, but that just goes on, obviously, you know, the handle sections, put bungs on top and bottom. And then with my system, with this attached, you have bung top and bottom. But I think with, maybe use it like backpacking light or one of those, companies you keep I wouldn't do it with pacer poles because I wouldn't be wanting really to use the bent handle top and bottom I think it's fine if you're using one bent handle but probably not two uh, but I will try it in here uh, for a while and see how it goes but I think what backpacking light do the the back the, the website I, I believe drop a comment below if you know uh, but I think you take off the, 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 the spiky bit, you take off that bottom section on both of them, and then they have a pole connector, which is the same width as here. And you basically just, you know, connect your two poles with, with that bottom piece connector. And that's the other way that you can do it. You can get a custom made pole set up. Now. I am just going to over record here uh, me talking. This is something called a Ruta Lecura um, custom made pole, which I had cut exactly to size. Uh, it is extendable by up to about six inches or something like that. It fits the super mid. It did fit the Duomid XL. I like this particular model because this is quite thick and yet very very light and very very strong and of course it folds down quite small. You of course have the other two options in this video if you want to make use of of your existing walking pole. Follow-up video to my pole video yesterday which I showed you. Now I've used this system you know all night and admittedly you know it hasn't been particularly you know windy or anything 
Um, but it, it's held up fine. You know, it has, there's been no slippages or anything. So, it, you know, it's, it's worked very well, this, this string, this string thing, uh, you know, that I've done. So I did try it all last night and it's worked, you know, it's worked very well. Like I said, I probably would, for peace of mind, you know, use a dedicated pole or something like that. But, you know, it certainly, it certainly did the trick. And I suppose if you ever have a pole breakage or anything like that, or you forget your joining pole or something, you know, this bit of cord, you know, it probably only weighs a few grams. It can't weigh very much. It's literally a bit of cord with some Velcro. And it might actually be worth carrying in your emergency pack so that in an emergency you can string two poles together and use it as a support for your shelter. So I might actually add this to my repair kit because like I said, you know, it really is, you know, there's, it's so light. So I hope that fairly basic rundown has helped, you know, your thought processes on this. I, th I believe if you have the duo mid or the solo mid, then I believe you get a little six inch connecting pole that you can put at the bottom. But really, I would probably, generally speaking, you know, use a pole connector. I just think it's a little bit more secure. So I hope this uh, pole video has been helpful and useful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, notification, etc, etc, etc. And of course, leave a comment below if you've got this far. Thanks for watching Tony's, <laughs> Tony's, Tony's long pole video. See you again soon.